I'm Dennis. I'm JR. I'm Sam. And I'm Nathan. And you are listening to Happy Podcast. Podcast. Happy Happy Earth Market. All is for sale. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Happy Earth Market, take three of this show. Um, Third time so anyways, uh, this, this show is brought to you by Gorilla Culture, Love Through Living, Happy Earth Market, Diamondback Land Survey. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> thanks, Thank you, thanks Trent. Trent, for the platinum level uh, sponsorship of the Bazaar and Natural Awakenings Greater Las Vegas Edition. If you were just tuning in, um, I've screwed up twice on this recording device, and so we're, <laughs> we're, you really can't tell it unless you've heard the first. Unless you've heard the first two, but if I have the audio, so I'll put them up like as be, as the beginning, like <laughs> fade in. That might out. be fun. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I'll just keep checking, make sure we're recording. Oh, we passed 35 seconds. Woo! Yay! <laughs> All right. So we were in the middle of a story where Dennis was stranded in Baker. Barstow. 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 Um, his car had broke down. He parked directly in front of an audio zone, and now he has auto an zone. auto zone. And now <laughs> he has his own. a meth audio addict's, a meth addict's <laughs> hand. Oh, wait, we've got, I'm Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> so pro, bro. Yeah, it's a so podcast. Pro. I'm Sam. I'm JR. And I'm Dennis. And the entire old CT sub crew. Woo, CT Sam. <laughs> Anyhow, so Dennis is in Barstow, and there's now a meth addict's hand in his window, and the guy says, Hey, man, I wasn't trying to steal nothing. So what'd you say? He's like bicep deep in my fucking car, like through the crack in the window, <laughs> oh my God. and like digging down. I don't know if he's touched anything. I just see his hand like inches Going from in. my thigh. I don't know if he's just trying to like nuzzle me awake. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Maybe he's just being polite. <laughs> You don't know. No, yeah, he wasn't trying to steal nothing. Right. He said that. He, he was just being <laughs> polite, no dude. Doubt he wasn't it. trying to steal nothing. So I was like, not oh, like he knew him. I didn't know what to he say. Was a liar so, or not. so he goes right back into, "Hey, man, you got any any like a you got any money? Trying to get some food out here, man. I'm hungry. I've been on the streets. <laughs> what? No, I have no, 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 no. I have nothing. No. no. You should. You got, I, I don't know, man. That's crazy. Gary. And you can't bite him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like how big was his tweaker hand? Like arm, like oh yeah, it was, around it was, like it was, it was like the size of a I finger. Like rolled up the window and broke, <laughs> broke it. Broke it off. Zip <laughs> oh, <geez>. snap. Good thing my battery died. You have an arm. What was wrong with your car? Slam and snap into a slim tweaker. God damn it. <laughs> um, <laughs> I see what you did there. Um. What happened to my car? Um, I overheated and shit. It was just, oh, oh it was just overheating. Because yeah. it's hot. Back to the AC conversation yeah. that they oh, didn't yeah. hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, living in the desert without AC, we give we tip our hats to those people. So we're gonna have a praise the AC party. I think it would be Vegas, fun. Yeah. Pre- all be- all, so oh, we also have, <laughs> we, do, have you seen our um, have you have you seen our. Uh, our uh, uh, change.org um, petition? No. To explain it, Sam. Well, so you know how the National Weather Survey, they, they send us that alert that says uh, windstorm. Mm-hmm. Or dust storm. Be advised, severe dust storm, mm-hmm. they call it. Flash flood. No, not those kind, just oh. the, the windstorms. Oh, okay. um, we, we started a petition to, to basically change what it is, what they're calling it. It's no longer a windstorm. They need to call it a plastic storm. Plastic storm. Because there's so much plastic flying in the air that it's, mm-hmm. like, fucking hazardous. <laughs> it's hazardous. Shit's hitting you in the head when you're walking outside. You know, bags are fucking falling on your face. You can't see. It's all over the windshield. But you know, you're beautiful. crashing. There's plastic everywhere. Plastic everywhere during the windstorm. Yeah, so so they want, should reword it. They really should officially change it to a pa- plastic storm. Plastic storm. That way we, you know, have a little more awareness maybe going forward on mm-hmm. plastic consumption because it ends up being severe storms. <laughs> a polystorm. Huh? A polystorm. A polystorm. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a polystorm. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wind and plastic. Plastic tornado of death. 
Anyway, that petition is on Happy Earth Market. Everyone should go on and sign Go on it. and sign If not, Just for if we can make attention. it like viral, that would be fun. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, Let's make it go the, viral. All the plastic warriors. Yeah, <laughs> like, we could totally make it go viral, because yeah. it is something we should at least talk about. So Fox you News know. is saying by taking our, by, by California making straws illegal, that it's taking uh, people's rights away to... Or to drink like children. Well, no, they're pissed <laughs> off. No, no, no. It's, people are mad right now because there's a tax. So if you want to use a plastic straw, they're taxing you. The same thing oh. they do with the plastic bag. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. So people are mad Why? about it. Because Bec- it adds 35 cents to their... Yeah. Huh. I guess. If they <laughs> just made lids that are like... To, sippy like, cups. Sippy cups, yeah. No, then everything would be good. Everything would be good, because then we can all be children. Right? Yeah. 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 Let's replace the plastic straw with a plastic lid. That you makes kids, sense. You good job, Starbucks. Straw. No, straw, Idiot. I can't winky. I, you know what I hate about the straw thing is people's Idiot. argument is, is well, I don't want to put my lip to the glass. But you put the motherfucking fork in your mouth. In your mouth. In your mouth. Not on your restaurant. lips, but you in All the way back there. You'll deep throw a fork. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> They're pretty it's gross so most of the time if you just, Forks? like, look, look at, at it? the yeah, silverware. Yeah, I try not to, dude. So I bring my own? You bring your own silverware? Bamboo silverware. I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> well, you bring your own crazy. bamboo silverware. Yeah. Uh-huh. That black one. Black. Why does it got to be black? Because it's black. It's unique. <laughs> <laughs> unique with a Q. Yes. Yeah, anyway. Like music soul child. Who? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> I put plastic straws in our bamboo straw holder. Because <laughs> it says reusable straws. Uh, and I'm like, well, all you got to do is wash it and you can reuse it. I promise. It'll. It's plastic. It'll last longer than the bamboo, mm-hmm. ironically. Yeah, yeah. So you can just reuse it. <laughs> I do. And when I make my smoothies at home, I have a uh, tropical smoothie, one of those big thick straws that they sell. I've been using it like ten smoothies we now. Do. Mm-hmm. You know, just wash it. Tea I gotta it find that Slurpee straw. I had a Slurpee straw that had like super thick walls on it. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, so yeah. good. The metal one? Yes. Yeah. I still have Slurpee sometimes. Like, I'm like yeah. oh, I thought you guys gave them up for good. No, not I good. did. I, I mean, haven't had one in a long time. Every once in a while, I'm like, fuck it. For I don't it's get the so plastic dome lid, but I still get. A slurpee. Yeah, you just drink it just straight <laughs> out of there. Last time I got the straw. Did you chew it? Like I did. I'm still, what's up? Do I chew, chew the slurpee? <laughs> and I look at people, I mean mug them. <laughs> <laughs> I look at them all hardcore with the it's straw. It's so cold. <laughs> <laughs> what, I, what I really like to do, His that's, face gets meaner looking that's fun to do. Is just make yourself get a brain freeze and then just look at something like <laughs> Ooh, what the fuck is wrong with that guy? Oh, Slurpee. <laughs> Got him. Uh, I thought you were having a seizure, bro. No, I'm all better now. I was, gonna, I was gonna rescue you. Five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stick my face in your face. Something to do hard. the fucking Heinlich maneuver. <laughs> it's not Heinlich. It's, 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 it's not the Heinlich. It's the maneuver. <laughs> yes, it is. It's the Heinlich and then Mercury's in Gatorade. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think I think that's just this part of the city. Oh, Mercury's and Gatorade just here mm-hmm. in this part of Las the Vegas. Heimlich. Oh, the Heimlich. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> yeah. You're probably right. What is that noise? Do you guys hear that? Um, it's them, uh, it's the low riders. Yeah, yeah. All, the low, all the low riders. So, like, a whole, there's a whole motorcycle Drake? club out there. Yeah. No, there's not. I hear a lot of bikes. I hear one bike. Well, he's loud. He's got the glug glugs of three bikes. <laughs> They're really loud. <laughs> Such interruptions. What was that South Park episode where you were calling a faggot? <laughs> the, kids, the kids are calling them faggots. Yeah, yeah. All, the, all the gay people got no, mad. Man. No, we're not talking about you gay faggots. Say... We're talking about bikers. Oh, yeah, they are faggots. <laughs> I thought they were mad about them taking the word. Yeah, you know, I love biker culture, but there's a certain goofiness to it that they will refuse to acknowledge, even if you bring it up to them. <laughs> they, they refuse, like, to know it's not goofy. Wait, you guys are all wearing matching vests. Mm-hmm. Like, is, this isn't Greece. Uh, this isn't Greece. This isn't Greece. But the patches. No, I get it. I, I would. I love my patch, but I'm just saying there's yeah. a goofiness to it. Yeah. You know, that nobody acknowledges. Like, nobody stands around like, that is ridiculous. We're all wearing the matching shit. Why, we can't hang out without it? 
Well, that's how gangs used to dress back in the Warriors days, right? <laughs> Warriors! <laughs> Come out and play! <laughs> Amazing. Bling, bling, bling. So where are those CTSM episodes? Because yeah, this have, is fun. Do you still, do you still have the... Uh, do you still, still have, have the, hydro, uh, the hard drive that the has them. It's just like failing, so the next thing I do with that needs to be to just try to... Do you have the finished episodes? I don't want the... Do you, do you have the masters? Cause oh, I yeah, can, yeah, I, that's I, what I have. Can, we should like release one a month. Sure. But we Absolutely. need to... But I don't know, man. They're so racist. Uh, you want me to like edit them? No, no, uh, don't edit. No. Don't edit. Just put but it out as is and just put like a little a disclaimer. Like, hey, this, this is how we used to be, guys. Remember how we used to drop the end bomb well, five years ago? So, like, here's the honest truth, though, and it's really fun to observe, and it's really fun to talk to people about it. Is how people can change. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. clear that yeah. people are capable of. We were gun toting Republicans because we were retarded. Oh no, I wouldn't call gun toting Republicans retarded. I didn't call him that. You, we were you associated my word with yours, and oh, I wasn't talking. About <laughs> uh, I thought we were having a conversation. I was saying, like, clearly we weren't thinking rational about a lot of shit, and mostly it was because entitled thinking. Mostly because we were so uneducated and ignorant. Yeah. And yeah. so much, and I think that podcast actually taught us how not to be so ignorant because we had to actually deal with real shit. It, it does. Def- you know what I mean? It definitely started part of everybody's. That was at the beginning of everybody's kind of waking up to what we are now. Yeah, you know absolutely. what I'm saying? Which we're still evolving into what whatever, but that was definitely part of the evolution of who we were. Because mm-hmm. those last few episodes were definitely more aware. Yeah. Aware, yeah. They were definitely more aware episodes, you oh, know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, because it was after we had all started, like... Smoking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because the, uh, the last episode that I have is uh, hashtag so great. Um, <laughs> so there's like four or five, I possibly six one. more after that. Oh jeez. Uh, what about the one we did Not with the last good. one we did with Echoes, w- where I just sat there with Wei Hu. I was so stoned, my <laughs> oh, head was basically on the yes. table. Well, I kind of stopped I, the show. We, yeah, we had to stop we it. We didn't even like, end it. Right? <laughs> yeah, I kind of want to put that back out. Yes. <laughs> like, and Eldon was yeling. I remember El- laying in bed. El- and I'm like, like, he's making fun of me. I ain't black talk helicopters. <laughs> <laughs> he said other stuff though. I was like, yeah. Right next to the yeah, Samantha's like, I can't do it, and she went to bed. I was we were dying. way too high. Uh uh-uh. No? That was not a good choice. His Alex Jones impression is Dead. fucking oh, <laughs> the best. Alex Jones is a right wing show now. Okay. Yeah, right. We should have him on the show Alex just Jones? as Alex Jones. Elvin? Yeah. <gasps> oh, that, that would be so much fun. He would bring balance to it. We, we, could, we could make it. We'll call him Alex Jones, but we'll spell it differently. Like when we put it up, we'll say we three X's. Alex Jones is a guest and all of that. Well, we'll spell it differently. Well, no, well, A L E C. Yeah, yeah, Two X. We already have Alex Jones. We have Alec Jones. Alec Jonas. In the studio. <laughs> that episode. That, Alec Jonas uh, is more on the hippie side, not so you know. It. That episode where he's on the Joe Rogan podcast with Johnny Bravo or whatever his name is. Eddie Bravo. <laughs> Eddie Johnny Bravo. Johnny Bravo. Un- that would be a good episode. Un- fucking listenable. Will you get my water, babe? My other one. Was that? Oh, that was the one he was talking about. Um, inter- inter- interdimensional. Child molesters. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but he was also fucking wasted. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Had too much whiskey and he does uh-huh. and, and weed. Like it was so great. It was the best episode 9/11. He, he was, yeah. was, oh, it was episode yeah, 9/11. Yeah. That's yeah. right. And then, and then he um he he smoked some weed and he was like, I don't really smoke weed, but when I do, I, it's just for uh, me testing the uh what's his name, um, the guy that changes. He's saying he's a in, he's saying that he uh changes the formula of marijuana. <laughs> what does that even mean? Jeff Bezos? Yes, that guy. <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure Jeff Bezos is uh, keeping everything all on the open up. <laughs> Who's Jeff Bezos? I don't know this name. The the CEO of Amazon. Oh. Yeah, he's, he's that or, guy. He's or, really rich. Yeah, he's insinuating that uh, he had he changes like the formula of marijuana, makes it stronger. Mm. Is that like a real conspiracy theory yeah. like, that other people believe too? Probably. <laughs> Thank you. It's got to be. I don't be. even know. It's like, half of, like I don't know how much of Alex Jones's conspiracy theories. Oh, dude, and just hogwash. No, yeah, it's all. No, hogwash. people actually believe because he throws them all yeah, out. Yeah, there. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so he got, he got in trouble. Stick. He got in trouble for I that. I think whole, a lot of people um, believe saying that Sandy Hook was fake. <laughs> he got in yeah. huge. Well, trouble. yeah, the parents went after yes. him and everything. Yeah, you know what? Even but it's a false flag, bro. Yeah. The United States trying to take away our guns. You see mm. how much laws they put on the books to kill the Second Amendment? Which ones? 
Yeah. All of them. They've, they've killed the Second <laughs> Amendment. It's like we can't even have guns anymore. <laughs> but I can go buy a gun right now. Um, well, not right now because it's after 6 and the background check place is closed. But tomorrow, no, or that's, the next Sunday, I can go on the internet and buy a gun. I'm really excited to download a gun off the internet. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that. I'm really excited to download thing. a plastic gun. What is they go this? the ghost gun. Yeah. What is this goddamn gotta, world we're in? It's ridiculous. I just gotta get a 3D printer. Yeah, and an easy bake oven. I don't know how these things work. <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta dry it somehow. <laughs> I think blow dryer works. Probably, maybe a heat gun. You can make it with the, uh, with the plastic solution that is also food. You tried it. Yeah. Yeah, you can make it with that. So you, you can use it, it the one time and then it's a Wait, 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 wait. What a heated you candy. Tried this food. This plastic food? Oh, yeah, no, I tried the 3D printed food. So it's printed. Where and what? when? I tried, <laughs> tried in the I tried it at CES last year. He did year. this way in the past, too. C- CES. Oh. CES two years ago. And yeah. they had all the 3D printer stuff, and the guy had uh, 3D printed chocolate cookies. So you all, have cancer all, now. All kinds of stuff. No, it's not plastic. <laughs> It's not plastic. They had 3D printed pasta too, made out of really? dough. Yep. Made out of dough. Yeah. 3D MOs. Mm-hmm. 3D yeah. MOs. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I didn't know they had that. That's yeah, they, they had 3 they, The guy had a. Before you know it, they'll be printing water. The same guy, he printed a whole bicycle frame, and yeah. and it was completely. He was letting people ride it around. It was a it was a, yeah, a whole a whole uh, mountain bike frame. Oh wow. That's a big 3D printer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How do they print the air in the tires? <laughs> 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 Only well, yeah, no. the frame. Right, right, right. I got it. But how <laughs> they were riding only the frame. What kind of like futuristic shit is this? How are they riding around? <laughs> is it like yeah. floating? I'm, I'm gonna stop right now. <laughs> <laughs> now they're just trolling. Turn this off. <laughs> they're just trolling. We're you done. Now. Going home. We are done here. I wanted to talk on this since we're doing the show. I wanted to talk about the bazaar coming up a little bit. Okay. Okay. Yeah, right? We probably should. It's yeah. on the 18th. The bazaar is on the 18th. Starts at 5 p.m. It benefits Project 150. Mm-hmm. Project 150 is a local charity that gives clothing, um, school supplies, and uh, everything that high school kids need to homeless high schoolers. Nice. And if you're not aware, it's like 19 or 20 percent of Clark County kids, high school kids are homeless. I don't think it's that high. Is it anymore. not that high? I don't think it's that high anymore, it's, but it might be. It's large be. percent. It's, it's still quite high. It's in the teens for sure, and mm-hmm. it's... Yeah. Unbelievable. It's, it's unbelievable. Crazy. And it's like 23% total kids in Clark County are actually homeless. Wow. That's a lot. Yeah. I just said 19. You said that was I high. I might be wrong. But no, I'm talking about the whole school district. I said Clark, I said Clark County School District. No, you said high school. Oh, I got you. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that would yeah. be a much smaller ratio. Yeah. Got it. yeah. So you're talking about the kids just in general? Yeah. yeah. Well, no, yeah, yeah. So within high school kids, there's a ton. So I keep thinking the number 13, though. We're I doing... don't know. It's a lot, though. It's more than you would expect. Hmm. A lot more than you would expect in Vegas. I'd have to actually Google it. So we're doing a clothing and school supply drive for that. Mm. Right? So that's going to be awesome. So we have an amazing drum corps coming out called Community Productions. And they're uh, they're all professional-level drummers, and they're going to just blast. And then we have a ton of good vendors. We have amazing vegetarian Mexican food. We've got, um, uh, at the end of the night, Vera Anderson from Vera Love Music is going to be here. She's going to do an intimate set right there on our little stage. We're going to turn the lights off just kind of in the night right. She's mm-hmm. going to do, do her new EP, um, Breathing Underwater. It's really good. We went to her CD release party. It was just fucking amazing. She's so, We're so proud of her. She's so amazing. Her she's, voice rocks it, man. Oh, my God. And her guitar is mm, just... She's amazing. She's great. She's so amazing. talented and beautiful, of course. And, just, and definitely... She's got the whole thing, the whole light. And I always say definitely contested for best smile in the world. Like, yeah. her, she's got one of the most... most infectious. Infectious smile. Like, she's a smile. She's like, look, i got a smile, too, now. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, and we got a couple flow dancers coming to do the little mm-hmm. hoop flow dancing. Yay. So That's going to be, be so fun. They're going to be and flowing. And it's just going to be a good time. So come out, bring the kids, have a good time. There's going to be a bunch of other surprises. Uh, we're giving away $50 tattoo gift certificates. Yeah. Uh, we're giving away coffee stuff from Sunrise Coffee. We've got raffling. Free, raffling, raffling. raffling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we're raffling <laughs> off uh, raffling. singing raffling. lessons, coffee, uh, beer coupons, all, all kinds of good raffles. And it's just for a great cause. So come donate, hang out, eat some food, support your local vendors here in Vegas and uh, be ready for the bazaar because there may be people in costumes maybe who knows yeah come in costume come that's in co- encouraged yeah. if I know it's hot but there's costumes you can wear that mm-hmm. you know it's a bizarre bizarre aren't covered yeah how so bizarre how bizarre so bizarre <laughs> that you're guaranteed <laughs> to have some sort of fun mm-hmm. and if anything else you're guaranteed to have a very unique and authentic experience mm-hmm 
Ooh. Exactly. And at the end of the night on Saturdays, just after the thing, there's a lowrider show, a free one. Yeah. You, you hang out till 10 o'clock, they're here now. There's a lowrider show outside right now, and you can walk around and hang We're out visiting. with the lowrider people yeah. who now all seem to have families, so they're way less intimidating than they used to be. <laughs> <laughs> like when there's kids running around, you're like, oh, this is safe to walk up, shit. <laughs> We're good. No, I've never had a problem with any lowrider people ever. Yeah. Well, watching those cars bounce up and down is not enough. It really is cool. You can actually right? feel it under your feet. Uh-huh. Way different than watching it on TV, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. I was it's like, cool. oh my God, the cars over the so that duster. Was your, that was your first experience. Yeah, with that. What I was never, it like? What was it like for dude, you watching cars hop? It was amazing. It was so cool. I didn't know it was on my bucket list. <laughs> but it was? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was one of those. It was cool. Because when I watch it on the internet, you're like, that's stupid. Yeah, play. like I don't get it, but seeing <laughs> but, it up close, it's like, I still don't get it. I mean, that's a lot of head. fucking you wouldn't do that to your money. Door. No, I, they destroy their poor cars. It's like, bam, bam. Well, like they get through traffic a lot faster, right? It's like Inspector Gadget and movie. Just right. <laughs> 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 and if you'd like an Inspector Gadget toy, we have it here at Happy Market. We do have a toy. We do. I'm looking at it right now. Look at it. So, Dennis. Formerly of the CTSM is back in Vegas. Yay. Dun, da, da, da. Yay! Welcome back, me. Which is great for people of Happier's Market because Dennis said he's going to hang around here for a little bit and help out. Mm-hmm. So you'll get I'll to meet here. him. Be here. You'll see my shining, smiling face. <laughs> that's right. That's right. So he'll be kind of like a staple here for a bit. We're going to be a staple in the wall. Maybe. Maybe. To the ceiling. Oh. That'd be a lot of staples. Possibly so painful. Around the table. I don't know. You have lost a lot of weight. Around the table. <laughs> We did a little over 100 CTSM shows, right? Or how many was it? Uh, I'd say around there. Yeah. Right? So, starting with Dennis, what was your favorite show? Oof. Mm. Uh, mm. Damn, I, I always, silence. I always liked having the, the guests on the show. Like, Echoes were always dope. Yeah. Uh, Doofy getting drunk on the show. Get getting kicked in the nuts. In the nuts. Oh, that, was, yeah. that was a solid show. Stupid. It was a solid. <laughs> it was so good. Mm-hmm. Editing that noise <laughs> made my gut. Did you amplify it? I would have. Yeah, no, I, I amplified it a good amount. <laughs> I, was, I was just rolling. I wonder if that dude's over dude. <laughs> there was just such a good smack sound. It was so solid, bro. Yeah. <laughs> he ate that one that we did at the studio where he got kicked the nuts. That kick was so solid, and he hit the ground so hard. <laughs> I couldn't believe that they did it. Then we mic'd it, right? Yeah, yeah, we, we did it. mic yeah, it. We, we mic'd, mic'd it. a nut kick. Uh-huh. <laughs> so that's where our maturity level was at. at <laughs> yeah. What about you, Jarl? What was your favorite experience or show? Uh, probably that one that I came in really late. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine. Uh, I can't remember what. We already like, started the show? <laughs> yes. Yes. You guys started the show and I came in knocking on the door. At my house or? No, where? it was at the studio. Okay. The studio, studio. And um, at the end, we were talking, of, we were watching, what the hell? It was like Star Wars. We were doing like Star Wars noises. Wanga, wanga. Pew, pew. I remember that. I have it queued up in my in my yeah. thing. I listen to it every once in a while. <laughs> That's hilarious. Who about you, Sam? I don't have a favorite. I think I have, like, every time we were doing that kind of a thing where we were kind of improving different mm. voice characters. Yeah, yeah. That was that a lot shit, of fun. That shit, like, Especially all of them, like, all the skits were so <laughs> fucking funny yeah. and fun to do, and those were all my favorite, because they always made me laugh when I re-listened to them. Yeah. I used to like, crack up re-listening <laughs> to that show. I was you were so funny. That's Dude, the way we were all fucking die. Funny. I don't even listen to the shows we put up now. Yeah. Nope. No, you don't listen to no, them I, I put it up, and that's it. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm not interested, you know what I mean? I'm done with it. After, I've heard it twice, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm over it, so... So you just listen to it twice, once doing it and once uh, editing it? Usually, maybe I may listen to it all the way through editing it. Maybe. I cut out, because I have the front and the back in the same. Yeah. So I just find those two things. And oh, you don't do any cuts in the middle? No. I, it's I, all like live. I blast, I blast through it, dude. And, I, and if it's somebody I guess I really like, I'm going to make a, um, a teaser at the beginning. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll do that. But no, I Ooh, mean. All those guests that didn't get the teaser. Ooh. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> well, that's true. But, um, but no, I just, you know what I mean? I, I fix the levels, make sure they're okay, listen to it in a couple spots and put it up. Because it's just a natural conversation. There's no reason to go through and take out. Unless we're 
interviewing an older person, then I have to listen to the whole thing yeah. because there's... Well, the interview ones are different, too, though. Yeah, Those so are different the generations episodes one, altogether. Mm-hmm. Especially the generations one because these are yeah. older people, so mm-hmm. they tend to have a catchword or they tend to, to thought loop or they mm-hmm. tend... You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So a lot of that's very creative editing to make the story flow correctly, mm-hmm. but this show, I'll, I'll just put it up. Like, there's no need. Yeah. Surprise, guys. Yeah. No, I, I know. It saves time. Like, I'm done quick. I put the intro in that I wrote and done. Awesome. How long do you spend on it? Uh, maybe three hours. Maybe. Easy peasy, Japanese. Yeah. I'll do it. Like, so, here's like if we, this podcast, uh, well, tomorrow's Sunday. So, I'll just edit it Sunday morning mm-hmm. while I'm waiting. So usually, because uh, Sam sleeps in Sunday morning, and then I just. Fuck yeah, I do. And usually, I'm just done be- before she wakes up. I drink my coffee and. I'm My done. Dad. I watch. I watch the morning fucking uh, propaganda on Channel Three, and that's it. But my favorite episode, probably. See, it's the difference between breakdown and the re- actually recording or the episode, like the the interview or mm-hmm. the episode. So definitely Black Dolly Murder. Yeah. Was yeah. definitely just a fun experience mm-hmm. to be backstage at Extreme Thing, and then. But as far as as far as episode goes, like when that show kicked off, just the whole virginity experience of trying to figure out what to do was the Oceano because oh, yeah. we yeah. took it so seriously. <laughs> and it's so funny. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like towards the end of that show, we're like interviewing fucking bands like fuck them. Yeah, <laughs> like, we're gonna make fun of you this whole interview. Like <laughs> <laughs> that guy that we hung up on. Remember that? That was great. <laughs> I love oh, that. Oh, that's my favorite. I forget even why I hung up on him, and I was like, okay, because okay. he was giving us like like real short like. Answers. Yeah, it was like okay, well, fuck you then. Click. <laughs> yeah, and our question seriously. Click. <laughs> 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 Alright, dude, bye. Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> Remember, dude, we texted, we emailed our manager, like, hey, your guy was a real asshole, and uh, we don't, and we fucking emailed him, and she's like, please send me that audio. Did we ever send it to her? No, no, because no. we listened back, and it was all like, ah, yeah, you can kind of see it. It wasn't that bad. We were kind of sorry. But well, it made we good radio. It. <laughs> it's the way that we, like, <laughs> told him that he was being a shit guest was kind of like <laughs> smart assy. Yeah. So it's all like <laughs> kind of No, yeah, no, just keep fucking answering like that. Sweet, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you pulled the plug. Uh, and I really loved the live episode we did at that pool hall. Oh, that was uh, such yeah. a great episode. Yeah, right? yeah, that was so fun. But the, you know I, you know what I hated about it was the pool playing. Like, loud, we're right? having a live fucking podcast and you're like, <laughs> You could tell though. That was the, that's what made it sound so It cool. was a lot of fun. It made it sound really live. Yeah. The double feature that went with that was me backstage with the Echoes guys. Oh, that's right. That was fun. That's the Thousand Oaks. Oh, Thousand Oaks. <laughs> oh, I forgot. <laughs> what was that guy's name? Trey? Trey, yeah. Trey, Trey Malone. Yeah. Trey. What if that dude's up to besides so probably making a horrible fucking sludge metal? <laughs> <laughs> was that doom metal? Yeah, yeah. He was doing I, doom metal at the time. Yeah. Unlistenable. <laughs> <laughs> One note for fucking five minutes doesn't work for me. It it took me a while to get it, and then I got really stoned and listened to it. Oh, I see, guess that's why they do it. I like stoner metal, mm-hmm. but that wasn't the stoner metal that you no, were looking for. No, well, <laughs> what I consider stoner metal is like Pelican. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Alaska. Like, yeah. That metal is like that's like post metal. Yeah, I always that sludge metal is almost like if it would be on heroin. And see, this yeah. is what the CTSM <laughs> sounded like. They talked about metal. A oh, lot yeah. of metal. Oh, oh, metal. Yeah. None of the oh, earth kind. Hip-hop. None of the earth kind of metal. But you know my favorite The different piece genres of, of music metal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you'd like to get into the, the subgenres and be all the... Oh, and hip hop, too. Not, they did that a subject a lot, too. I'm not hardly into metal at all now. <laughs> yeah, no. It, they Just stopped doing it for me. They don't release as much stuff. Yeah. And, it, and it's all good. so the same mm-hmm. it all like at all one point reviews. i just could i think gent really ruined metal uh, i think that's on its way out I gentrification think that's done now. but gent in general <laughs> gent in general <laughs> yes gentrification ruined metal <laughs> just like how it ruined seattle it you ruined, ruined everything, it ruined everything. <laughs> ruined everything. In San Francisco. <laughs> My 500 square foot house is a million dollars. One million. Hey, can you imagine though? Like I thought about the person, like the person who lived. Hmm. That was his mom's house, yeah. right? And he lived there, and now this fucking little house is worth fucking four million dollars, yeah, exactly. and it's been paid for for like 40 years. Yeah. He's like, I'm about to retire <laughs> on this piece of shit. I'm so tired of fixing it, right, and yeah. it's worth four. The house place is falling apart. Four million dollars. Four million dollars. That's crazy. Oh yes, Apple douchebag. 
I would love to sell you this house. I'm glad you designed software and have more money than God and want this piece of shit house. Here you go, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Give me all them silicone yeah. muddies. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I wish you could. You know what I would do, too? I would, I would fucking somehow find... Or maybe if there's like a sub floor between the two floors, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, you know like what I mean? Like a cross space. A cross space you between the, the two floors? No, 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 oh. no. I would install a fucking tick that's on oh, that's, that's attached to something and just <laughs> and just on a timer for like every six weeks. <laughs> that's it. Six weeks later, it does it again. Oh my god. Does it have a? You should have one interval inside of it that does like a weird. <laughs> like, what the fuck? And you'll never be able to pinpoint it. You never like you're gonna wait six weeks. Fuck, there it is. <laughs> fuck. Look for it. Look for it. <laughs> and then they're all. Where's it at? Shh, shh, shh. Honey, I think we got rats. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you hear them? They're knocking. <laughs> you have it like attached to a window. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. I would just want it in some place where you'd never find it. Like just mm, never like fucking find it. Like maybe you put it be- like on the second floor so it echoes really well. Like fucking put it behind the sink in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> but what about when they remodel the the, the sink? Though? It's or worth like, the joke. Yeah, you know they, I mean? yeah, it just says ha ha on it. He's <laughs> 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 right, not a bomb. Not a bomb. <laughs> not a bomb. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, just like hardwired into the city, the city lights. No, well, you could hardwire right there. You could just put it on a line. You know what I mean? There's no, but if they if they run the, uh, <laughs> they don't pay for it. Yeah. Right. Well, I mean, it might be fucked. A lot of those old houses, they still have fucking fabric wire. Yeah. <laughs> Back in the Four day. million dollars. <laughs> Still got fucking cloth wire. Yeah. <laughs> it was built in the 1800s. Jesus, they they t- don't make things the way they used Just to. You know? Look how great that box. thing is. It still oh, works. It would be nuts if, like, if, if you ever did that. And like the that house gets listed as one of the haunted houses. Yeah. No, there, 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 there's people there with fucking cl- block of vomiters. Yeah, and fucking, you know you got you got waving people. sticks in the air. Zach Brannigan, whatever that dude is yeah. from Ghost Hunters. Oh yeah, I never watched this. Oh my god, what was that? Yeah. It's like six weeks later. Right, right. <laughs> so you got psychic <laughs> mediums. Oh, you know I really feel the energy in this one. <laughs> it's absolutely mm. nothing. <laughs> yeah, just. A, <laughs> three is. knocks that's it the present demon knock weeks. knock three times <laughs> if you could hear us six weeks later <laughs> the space time continuum yeah, the time is relevant with the spirit no, man the yeah. yeah they don't you know, have yeah. we're filming a movie about the space time continuum tell me more about it it's about Bobby the dragon and the way she experiences the space time continuum <laughs> <laughs> we, are. we are. We are. We're really we're, making this. We're writing it. We're writing we it. need people to uh, come be in this movie. Be in the so movie. if you're interested, open casting call to Las Vegas. Come to Happy Ears Market. Yep, it's going to be awesome. It's the off adventures. the chart mm-hmm. awesome. Um, and it's actually Happy Earth Market production. Hey, geez, we're taking a picture right now for the podcast. Yes. Oh, good. That one's going to be because I was puckering as I was speaking. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be called The Day in the Life of Bobby. Bobby? Yeah, and so stay tuned. We don't want to ruin the plot. No spoiler alerts, though. Mm-hmm. It's going to be like we got between an 8 and 10 episode YouTube thing. You know, so. That's right. It's just that a concept thing right mm, now. So. We're at very concept level. We're casting right now. Loose, <laughs> loose, loose script. Um, you know, so. If you have any experience mm-hmm. playing a dragon, then. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> So if we have best CTS episode, what worst CTS episode? Worst CTS. Before we get into worst, uh, another good call for best was the karaoke episode. Oh, it was. That, that Dude, was, that, every that time we turned out sing. amazing, actually. Every time we and sing. I hated it. So good. <laughs> I didn't even want to do it. I was like, this is fucking stupid. I really listened. I'm like, this is golden. <laughs> <laughs> so fun. Is there a worst, though? I, I have a worst. I have a guest that I wanted to punch in the face at the end of the episode. Uh, Dylan oh, Brody? Dylan what? motherfucking Brody. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to crank that guy in the fucking melon by the end of the episode. And I tried so hard to be a good fucking host. And we 
we never even put out that episode. No, yeah. I, it, it, what happened to it? Because the shit uh, broke, right? Because the no, the the mics weren't <laughs> on. It was just, just recording the laptop, laptop mic. Yeah. Uh, hashtag so hype. <laughs> Here's a funny thing about that: the okay. most downloaded yeah. episode we had was accidentally recorded on a laptop mic. Really? Yep. <laughs> I'm like, oh well, fuck, dude. Like a guy came on the show. I can't not put it out. You know yeah. what I mean? So I just amplified it as much as I could. Tried to compress it really well. Yeah. And it went out. And I'm like, oh no, he's gonna like this. Fucking the most downloads we've ever had. Nice. <laughs> Which episode was that? Uh, the one with um, Gabe, Gabriel, um, the comedy guy. Yes. Yeah. I and Sam and him episode. argued the whole fucking show. <laughs> like, dude, that show got shared. And li- well, okay, I take that back because the episode we just did with Mr. Bata got the most downloads we've ever had. It was like, it, okay, okay, it was yeah. like twenty four hundred or something like that. Mr. Ooh, Mr. Bata, Jesus yeah. Christ! Yeah. Look at you guys doing the big numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Fancy, 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 fancy. It's we like we had practice at the CTSM. We've had a, we've had a few episodes that have a lot of downloads. Nice. Oddly, in um, uh, Spain and uh, okay, and France, for some reason we get like we oui, we. Oui. And then um, it's the mustard. And then mm, someplace on the East Coast, I forget, just downloads the fuck out of it. Nice. Yep. I don't even know. Yeah, it's cool. How'd you find it? Like, East Coast stand up. Yep. <laughs> yeah, for the pledge. <laughs> Mm-hmm. All the time. So you know the Pledge of Allegiance was written by a socialist minister? I can't. Why are you saying socialism in this political climate? How dare you? I know, but it's just funny because all these people hate socialism, but their fucking Pledge of Allegiance, like the, the, the fucking brain, the largest brainwashing tool ever invented, socialist minister. I pledge allegiance. Like, let me pull it up that can read good. Pull up. I read something, too, that China is the only other country. Is it China? Yeah, China is the, the only, only other, other country, country that has a pledge. It pledges to their flag. Right. All Ooh. the other countries pledge to their country. Oh. Mm. Yeah, pledge allegiance to their country, not their flag. Well, what's the difference, really? The difference is a flag is a flag. Oh yeah, it's a it piece of art that represents your country. It's just a piece of art. It's not. But if you burn it, people will want to hurt you. Yeah, the pledge but of allegiance was wear written it as in underwear. August. Let me read here. The Pledge of Allegiance <laughs> was the Pledge of Allegiance was written was written in August 1892 by the socialist minister Francis Bellamy, 1885 to 1831. That's I pledge allegiance to the flag to the republic of which it stands, one nation under God. Oh, but the, but the one nation under God wasn't added to the 50s by Eisenhower. Mm-hmm. Don't quote me on the president. Sound real super confident, but I'm not sure now that I say it out loud. It's one of those presidents. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was a guy in the 50s. I mean, Google it. I'm sure it's there. I'm not, I, just, oh. I just wanted to say that it was by a socialist minister, that it, and it was complete propaganda from him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he, he ended up running it's for important. office and all this stuff. It's important to know your history, because if you're going to hate socialists, well, then you better stop doing the motherfucking pledge, because it's socialist propaganda. Yeah, and you also, it's important for people to question why things are mm. the way they are. Yeah. Like, you know, just that. Go Google why, where the pledge comes from and, and, and look at the whys. Go ask why. And I'm not saying the pledge is a good or a bad thing, but you have to be smart and acknowledge that it's for brainwashing children. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why are you having children repeat it every day to yeah. start off their yeah. day? Let me, you repeat something every single day, anything, and you'll believe it. Like, no problem. And I'm not saying nationalism is a bad thing, but I'm saying, like, let children make up their minds. Oh, you know what I mean? And and being fucking proud to be from a country is like being like like what Doug Stanhope up says, like being proud to have a fucking big toe. But you didn't do wasn't anything. He, wasn't he the same guy that, that had that little <laughs> quote about um Bellamy? No. Oh. Um Stanhope. Stanhope talking about it's like coffee for children. The pledge? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. How to wake like, him up? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I'm in school. My favorite Doug Stanhope <laughs> is the one that we saw live where he was like Named all that shit wrong. He's like, we can't fix it all. So everybody just fucking pick one. <laughs> he was like, global warming, homelessness, dude. You know, actually, the one we saw live with Doug Stanhope at uh, in Ontario. Okay. I was in fucking stitches. That was such a good set. I was dying. It was better than one when we saw him here. I thought. Yeah, I was. No, the one that we saw here. What was it at? Uh, Tropicana. It was at the Sunset Station. Oh. Sunset Station. Yeah, yeah I was. That was a fun show. Dying. Yeah. I, I could not breathe at the end of it. <laughs> oh, and it was funny. We saw um, little Jimmy there, too, Jim Norton. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. That was okay. Yeah. I used to love Jim Norton, but his, I don't, I don't, it's just... Then you read his book. Yeah, then I read his book and realized <laughs> that he's not okay. Little no. Jimmy, little Jimmy needs some help. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's not okay. Like, every, it's, it's 13, 14 chapters, about 20 pages each of 
him just going to different cities and getting on Craigslist and finding massage therapists that'll jerk him off. That that's a whole book's worth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you a book deal? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I mean, if you're if you're, if you're, if you're, if you're, a, if you're a famous comedian, it will. Yeah, people want to see how fucked up. And I read it. And how would you get fucked up? Yeah, I read it. Like like in a lot of stories about him, like going from. Uh, from city to city, and like he would be so fucking horny, and he'd be riding in the back of a car with like three other comedians, and he would just jerk off back there. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Where's the sexual harassment on that? The yeah, hashtag where, me too for the right. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure did, they're all he four guys. Did he, uh, did he Louis C.K. the other guys? Hey, <laughs> mind if I just whip this and just take yeah, care of this real quick? I don't know, man. Like five minutes tops. Goes both ways. Just saying. Sexual harassment. Sexual harassment, harassment does go both ways. I'm gonna go ahead and not wait for you guys to answer, and I'm almost done. Is that more of a silent thing for guys? But me, me, I don't know, man. I don't think that men can really be part of the Me Too thing. I think that, and I really do think that the with the amount of women that are sexually abused, especially when they're children by men, yeah. men really and have no right to get in that. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of little boys are touched, but I don't think it's anywhere near the level of little girls. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think that that's just what I think. And maybe that's not true. Maybe because most men haven't come out and told you, but a lot of women have said, yeah, I was touched. You know what I'm saying? So way more women have told me that than men have. But women have to deal with their entire life. You know what I mean? And from everywhere they walk and everywhere, you know what I mean? Like, it's just truth. So they deserve to come out and say, fucking stop it. You know what I mean? Like, no, I'm not going to fucking suck your dick for a new job. Even though some women may offer that, though. See, that's the other problem, right? So one woman say, hey, if you give me that part, I'll fucking suck your dick right now. Like, they want that work that bad. Still doesn't make it right, but that may happen, too. Right. But if I was to tell the same the person, the like, like if you will give me this job, I will suck your dick right now, dude. Like, that's a very different, <laughs> very different connotation <laughs> if that dude's not like, gay. Hey. <laughs> I'm still like, looking for work, and I'm, you know, I'm, I've, I've sucked some dick, and still <laughs> no work. I've, I've spent so much on Listerine right now, it's like not even worth it. How much have you spent on Listerine, like, ballpark? <laughs> <laughs> 50? 50? 50? 50? 50? 50? How much is Listerine nowadays? I could teach you how to make your own. It's really cheap yeah. and easy. Yeah, totally. Yeah, you don't, don't, it's better yeah. for you. In don't the buy place. Listerine. Yeah. Have minute. They're not our sponsor either. <laughs> We're saying not to buy it. <laughs> Fuck those guys. <laughs> I won't do that. That's like one more. That's, that's a line I won't cross. So. Listerine? No, fucking no, those fucking guys. guys. Fucking oh, guys. yeah. So I thought you meant using Listerine. Mm. No, no, like, for <laughs> sexual? Like, what, how did hurt. we get here? <laughs> it's a podcast. <laughs> how did we get anywhere? I mean, this what were we talking what? about? We were talking about the, the Me Too movement. Yeah. <laughs> 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 getting diddled. Oh, my goodness. Wait, how, how did we get to that? We were sure nursery we, rhyme that's hey, diddle, diddle, the Oh no 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 no! Diddle is just an easy word to use. Like, I, and I didn't even make it up. There's a comedian just talking. Isn't oh, that jo- new, jo- isn't the, that a new Drake the, the cheer cable guy. Too? Hey, diddle, diddle. Diddly diddly, yeah. Or no, what is that? Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. dilly. I don't yeah. know. Oh, what the fuck not that the same. Is. Dilly dilly, yeah. yeah. Your sound it's just a great though. advertisement from Bud Light. I don't know. I'm really disturbed by this diddle word. Is it better than Bud Light? I've never heard that before. Oh really? Why? Yeah. Or is it better than what? What's up was pretty good. That was pretty good. Bud What's up? What's up was pretty good. Like yeah, you got to mean, everybody did it, and right now it's still cool. But, <laughs> like you did in the bar, the whole bar would do it. <laughs> hey, Pokey, pick up the phone. <laughs> Speaking of party line, <laughs> not again. Not again. So yeah, man, we're happy to have you back, dude. I'm happy to be back. Fuck yeah, bro. I've missed this. Are you alive again? Town. Miss these people, everybody. Mm. Yeah. Did you see it on your glasses or something? Oh yeah, these glasses are <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> a little bit. bent, bro. I thought maybe it was his face. I wasn't gonna say anything. <laughs> no, like, well, what's well, this <laughs> ear is a little higher. Than <laughs> yeah. ear. I didn't. It's He's my parents' tricky. fault, really. You know, you can't help genes. your parents. They are, you know. We're learning. You got weak genes, bro. Individually, yeah, no. we're learning that yeah, all parents are right. assholes. All parents are assholes. Dude. Like, that's the truth. Mm-hmm. Learning it, you know, including myself. I'm a parent. I'm an asshole. Yeah, no. That's terrible to my kid, man. Yeah. Like, but you know what? 
I was a parent. Apparently, that's apparently that's what parents da, 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 da. are. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna fuck your kids. All of us are guaranteed to fuck up your you're kids. You're literally gonna fuck your kids up no matter what you do. As long as you keep yeah. them alive, uh -huh. you know that's, that's the, the goal. That's the goal. Yeah, <laughs> you made it, buddy. Get out. Yeah. Like, okay, I think you should. <laughs> I've been quite busy at Hot Beers Market. Um, to be honest, I don't know. You don't know. I did see today that uh, a bay in Florida, and I don't know how I missed this, but they're having what they're calling red tide. Ooh. So oil that's been, been spilt yeah. is coming in, and it's killing like a ton of wildlife. Like all the wildlife mm. is dying. And Florida what, isn't doing nothing about it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Make it, no, I'm like a podcaster playing with the thing. I don't know. About two minutes worth of... <laughs> that's all right. It's probably about where you need to edit it. Yeah, that's true. We're better Balls. Balls. Oh, I'll definitely take that piece in. out. It's no problem. But we're talking about it now, so if you didn't get to hear that piece, tune in nowhere, because I want to put it up. <laughs> so Balls. Ball. So a bay in Florida has red tide from oil? Oil, so, yeah. So the oil's coming in really? and killing all the animals. I thought red tide was just a... It was it's all bacteria. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so correct me then. So I thought the al the, the red algae was a byproduct of oil. Is it not? Is it, that was just a poisonous byproduct of oil, or is it just red algae a natural occurrence? Yeah, I think it's a red algae. Red it's just a natural, natural occurrence. Okay. And it yeah. grows in heated waters, yeah. which is That's which is the global warming guy. conversation okay. because the waters me, are warm and it's killing the reefs. Mm -hmm. The great yeah, the Great Barrier Reef yeah. is what's... It's what's, completely, yeah. like... It's icky. dead now. It doesn't exist anymore. Not yeah. all the way dead. It's got, like, 10% left. They're just spending, like, a bunch of fucking money right now to try, yeah, try and save some of it. And they said, you know what's but killing it? They said sunscreen. that it's sunscreen. Yeah, yeah. they've outlawed sunscreen. In the, really? Yeah. In Australia. They gotta got, got yeah. save it, dude. Oh, well, sunscreen, they're in Australia. Everybody's gotta wear sunscreen. They're, yeah, they're but they've outlawed... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I just saw a thing where they're, like, they're getting rid of sunscreen, like, on the beaches. It's gonna kill everything. In Hawaii too, it's the same thing that's yeah. happening with Hanama yeah. Bay. Yeah. Like, like that's why they, that's why they close Hanama Bay like three days out of the week or whatever it is yeah. now because they yeah. need so that the fucking so they can clean it up and so that the they can water get it, can just water get it can out. get it out. You would think that if you're selling a product for people going to the beach, it would be that safe. it wouldn't be poisonous to the water. To the beach. No. That is, you know, washing this. Well, Honestly, I don't. Keep in mind I, that I don't think that anybody thought about that. Also yeah. harmful to the human that's putting it on. Mm -hmm. If anybody uh, cares to Google any of the ingredients behind their little sunscreen. You mean zinc? There's yeah, a zinc lot oxide. more than that, yeah. and your body sucks all of it in, all of it yeah, sucks it all into your, your skin's body. Skin's porous, yes. And you get all of that chemical, and I highly recommend everybody Google all of them. Write a list. Make a list. See what chemicals are in your sunscreen and see what's in your body after you put them in. And mm -hmm. see what effects your body. it does to your body. Yeah, and see what kind of cancer it's giving you. It's fun. Yeah, I mean, really, the smart thing is to do is just wear a big hat. Yeah. And long sleeves. Long sleeves, loose long sleeve shirt if, mm -hmm. you get, if you're prone to getting... Those are the only alternatives? There's no, like, a natural... No, I'm sure there's a natural sunscreen, on. yeah. Okay. I'm sure there is. I just... Mud. Don't know it off the top of my head, but just don't use coconut Mud. oil because it just enhances it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't use any oil. Did they even make, remember that was that was a thing? Suntan oil, yeah, like yeah. to no, to, still to burn it. your fucking soul. Yeah, yeah, they still sell it. Oh, do they? They do have yeah. tropic whatever. No, no, no. The wine tropic, tropics. But just um, coconut oil. They have a natural product, coconut oil that you can put on your skin to. Get and the fragrance of it. You got to think too. All the chemicals yeah. they have to hide with a certain fragrance because chemicals yeah. stink. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like that shit in its natural form probably smells like bleach. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't put bleach on your skin. It smells bad, you know. Yeah. But if you add some fragrance to it, change the smell, then it's okay. It actually smells good. Ooh, yeah. I smell like a fucking forest or whatever. What is it? Could it be bad? I don't Coconut. Know. It's just fragrance. Could it be bad, right? No, yeah. Fragrance. Fragrance. It's funny how they hide shit like that, dude. It's just crazy. Scary. Like natural flavors. Natural flavors. Don't suck a dick on that one. Fragrance. At least artificial right. flavors is kind of truthful, yeah. right? Yeah. Like yeah, you know it's honest. not real. Yeah. Yeah, but natural flavors can be anything because everything's technically natural. Yeah. Mm. Mm. True. I just. There's just a little bit of cyanide in there. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how sweet, sweet, sweet the asshole glands of a beaver are. They are just to die for. See, everybody uses that. It's unfortunate how they fucking do it. Yeah. Yeah. How they, yeah, they kill the beaver. Mm. And then they just. 
squeeze the tie in. Take fruit loop mm-hmm. and just go. <laughs> there was at one point like no beavers left. Like yeah. it was almost they had fur trapped them so much that they were almost gone. Yeah. Davy Crockett would shed a tear. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Davy, yeah, Davy, Davy Crockett down. came to the wild frontier. Good. I'm just saying. <laughs> he wasn't a good guy. They say, like, he wasn't. The he liked like, uh, destroying forests. Issue now, mm-hmm. or destroying forests. Because they're building dams. Well, the beavers are only an issue, yeah, for the dams, but yeah. the beavers are an issue because their natural predators are gone. Yeah, exactly. So, they're, you know, the wolf's gone, so and when the wolf's gone, children will play. Mm-hmm. They're also only a problem because they're affecting humans and where humans live. Oh, yeah. poor humans. You're not well, even no. in your right No, they affect forests, yeah, too. Yeah, forests in general. But yeah. that's fine. That's what they're supposed to do. That's how new forests get built and all that stuff. It's creates new life but not unchecked if it's like yeah. if there's a missing there's no part thing of the thing is unchecked because there's a humans, missing piece of the equation so then yeah. it's well, not because naturally humans have taken it that out didn't say yeah. it wasn't i'm just saying that that, that we should just there's, a, there's a bigger forest. conversation we had yeah we should but what are you going to do in places where the wolf hasn't been there in a, in a century you can't just reintroduce it you have to it takes time and they reintroduce one of these like crazy canadian wolves oh dude mm. gigantic which one and where? What's but that's it, uh, is that what they did in Yellowstone? Yeah, because Canada is so cold. Yeah, uh, things tend to get bigger. Like yeah. for instance, polar bears is one of the biggest predators that you can get, and mm-hmm. it's the coldest place in, in the world. So, with that same with that same effect, if you bring a Canadian wolf in, which is the same as a gray wolf, but it's just up in Canada, not in North America. Mm-hmm. But because they're in Canada, it's colder. They go bigger. They go stronger. They have to get that size in order to kill prey because the prey bigger. gets bigger and yeah, yeah. moose gets big. So but you're like dinosaurs exactly. in the ice So age. if you bring that Canadian wolf into North America, it's going <laughs> to fuck some shit up. Well, I know that they reintroduced <laughs> the wolf in the Yellowstone and the ecosystem is almost fully repaired. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah so the, it's, it's the, balancing the, the rivers have repaired, yeah. everything is repaired mm-hmm. because the wolf is there, so it's doing its job. And yep. so, yep, it's But crazy. you hear about this, like all the time is that just there's another missing link in the food chain and mm-hmm. things are going fucked up in the wild and it's just going to keep happening yeah. and yeah. well no it's not it's not because there's places like this and you know what i mean if we just keep this ripple effect that we threw in the water mm-hmm. going where we're doing everything as ethically as possible hopefully you know it spreads and i always think that and i think it's working when we're here because i live in this big echo chamber happy earth market <laughs> and then when you leave and then i go to smith's and someone's like well you quadruple bag that with plastic and they got they plastic and i'm like oh it's we're nowhere near we're not even close <laughs> we're not even close but then on the we're other hand mm-hmm. i'm sorry dennis go oh no no, no. i was just gonna say that we have the president that we have right now and he's just Undoing everything for the people who want him to do that kind of crap. Right. Oh my God. Hopefully, there's a good recoil to that. Go ahead, Sam, and reversal. remind me to talk about West Texas. On the other hand, though, it, when you're at the grocery store, there could be somebody behind you who's influenced by you saying, No bag, please. I'm going to carry my shit out. Yeah, that's happened. You know, and then they're like, Oh, yeah. And as you're walking out, they have one or, one or two items, and they'll go, Oh, I don't need a bag either. Mm-hmm. You know, that's cool because that's mm-hmm. change. That's yeah. something that even though they may want to do it all the time they're just not consciously doing it because mm. it's something you have to make a habit of doing you know is refusing just refusing all of it you know and it's a hard thing it's a hard habit to start yeah. so if, if you hear reminders by somebody in front of you who's doing it that's yeah. good you know and that's, that's why awesome. i think it's important for us to keep <coughs> projecting it too because for, people yeah. need to be reminded to keep doing good mm. so you guys know my buddy kevin from the CDMA. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyhow, he just got back from working in, in mm-hmm. West Texas. At he, He's an oil um, roughneck, you know what I mean? He's like those guys moving the big uh, wrenches and everything. We've, had, big some manly serious, shit. Anyways, we've had some serious arguments with him. But he's out in West Texas and they're doing um, uh, fracking. Yeah. Right? And he says, because they've released, the, all the regulations are gone, mm-hmm. and so they're just fucking blasting water into these things, and all this fucking oil's coming up, they're making up, so the oil's just everywhere. And it's there's coming up dead, through the ground. Through the ground. All over the and place. And so they'll blast it's it, flooding. and this water is so toxic that it's just going to kill everything around it, and so they blast it into the ground. But there's no fucking box they're blasting into, so it's underground, so it's blasting this water. So they'll find into this the nasty oil, oil water like 30 miles away, 
and he said it's just like uh, he says like Mad Max, dude. There'll just be dead things all over the side of the road, and you're hauling these trucks back and, and nobody's forth. Nobody's doing anything about and, it. And the dirt is just gross and destroyed. He so he's home, and um, he's he was over last weekend when he first got home, and we we're having a couple beers, and he's like. I don't know if I can go back, is what he said. And he's like, I just can't. I'm just driving through there. I just feel disgusted with myself for even doing it. Like, there's, there's no money worth this. He's just, he's just not sure if he's even going to go yeah, back. He's feeling sick yeah. about it. Just yeah, just nauseous. You know, and I can't explain it as well as he did, you know what I mean? Because he was there. But just the picture that he painted, it just sounded ap- terrible. apocalyptic and yeah. terrible. And, and just like, wow. The way he explained it was kind of like seeing farm patches, the square patches, yeah. only different colored of oil. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yep. And, and dead animals and along dead the animals. side of the road yep. and, and carcasses that have been there for a minute because mm. nobody's oh, cleaning anything up. At least up. the profits are going up, right? And here's yeah. the deal. Operations, Jobs, baby. man. And here's the deal. Like, uh, oh, wait, so those are all foreign He takes, all, he takes all this rock that they're digging out, and he's a truck driver, and then they take it somewhere else and they dump it all, right? So when he picks it up, there's all the... When the, the front loader picks it up, there's all these snakes and shit on the bottom of it, and reptiles that are living in there, and mm-hmm. and so when he, so then it flips it over, and then he takes it to where he's going, and now when it flips it over again, all the snakes are on the um, top, on the top, and all these fucking birds and wildlife coming over, and they eat it, and then they're all just dying right there. Yeah. It's just it's crazy. Toxic. Yeah, it just toxic. Uh, fun stuff. Mm. It's sickening. And it's in the middle, we have to keep in mind, too, that it's in the middle of, uh, you know, when the birds flock from place to place. Right. It's in, in the middle. Migratory. Yeah, uh, in the middle of those places. Bugs, to all of them, you know, and it's like, it sucks because I know it's going to have a serious effect on the entire ecosystem oh, of our, you sure. know, because... Yeah. Because of be all the animals that, and insects that are yeah. going to be dead or are dead because of it, you know. And people's, I just don't get it, people's, Crazy. people act like we've always had cars, first of all. They act like cars and plastic and all this stuff are natural born rights. But most of our history, neither of those things existed. You know what I'm saying? It, yeah. We got along fine without that shit. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if the convenience... Like, if they told me tomorrow, like, we got to stop. No more fucking cars and no more plastic. Like, it, it just has to end today or else we're going to end. And I don't know how okay or not okay I'd be with that. Like, oh, you know what I mean? The only transportation is public transportation. We have to reduce that much. Well, all that really is going to do is just slow things down, which is kind of some kind of nice. You know what I mean? Not just... You get on the, fucking, what, you get on the freeway and you're just pissed anyways... I don't know. That's that's what we're all here for, is just to... Consume and be angry? Yeah. I hear you. It's I don't know. purpose. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of rambling. I just don't know, like... Or if they just said we're fucking, st- like, across the planet, we're stopping production on this. We'll use what we have. Yeah. What we have is what we have. So it would be like a Cuba? Sure. You'd have such a crazy amount of redistribution of, of resources. What do you mean? Like, if we actually did get rid of things that we didn't need, like, then those industries would stop, wouldn't they? So those people would just go into... I, I forgot where I was going. This sounded oh, so, so much better. They would be unemployed at that point. Because yeah, because if we stopped consuming those things. Oh, well. You know what I mean? Because it's so... That's our baby. No, I... Yeah, I mean, really, at this point, it has to be environment over economy. The environment has to be the first thought. And not the opposite. It, money can't be the the first thought. And, you can't eat money. And, and there's no way to change it. <laughs> there's no money. way to change Trump. There's no way to change those people but one. Us being the largest consumers on the planet, the United States, we have the largest power to change industry by not buying or buying products. So it's up to us. You know what I mean? People talk about get out there and fucking vote for politicians going to change. Not going to change shit. What's going to change stuff is you buying the right product. You making a decision with everything you buy. You know what I'm saying? And you may make a bad decision, but you're making a decision. You know what? Today I really got to go get some Tupperware because I'm going to somebody's house. You know what I mean? But you need to put that decision into... You know, you got to realize the effect that everything you purchase has on everything. And so then when you start to make wise consumption decisions, then we could change 
industry, but we're not going to change industry by begging them to change. Do you understand what I'm saying? They don't give a by shit. voting the right legislators, by doing money. any of that. The mm -hmm. only thing we can do is stop buying the products from companies we feel are unethical and only buying ethical products. And if people don't do that, then nothing's going to change. We'll just con continue to turn into idiocracy, and that's where we're going to be with mm -hmm. fucking bobbleheads like Trump. In, in, at the, and at bobbleheads like all of the people and that consume the same garbage. <laughs> yeah. The thing that bothers me most, I think, is when, even with the knowledge <coughs> of what all this stuff is, people still choose mm -hmm. to consume that thing, like a straw, for example. You know, it's a simple thing, and people have awareness of it, yet they still choose to ask for a straw, even, mm -hmm. you know, and take one thoughtlessly. It's just, I don't know how hopeful... And people can make we fun can of really it. have in human in humanity and yeah. in, in our society. Uh, the only thing, the only thing I can change, change is me. Unless unless we enforce taxes, then they fucking change because they hate to pay money. Consumers hate paying taxes. Mm -hmm. So you know that's why I go back to that whole sometimes taxation is a necessity taxation. because it forces people to yeah. stop being stupid. Taxation killed smokers in America. Yeah. yeah. Seriously, more people quit smoking because of the price than any other reason. Mm -hmm. The labels, none of that stuff. They over fucking taxed it and people quit smoking. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying I'm one of those. It's my fucking worst <laughs> habit I have, mm -hmm. but it's a fact. If you look at the numbers, it happened. You know what I mean? Yeah. They were running a pretty healthy campaign against it, like for the kids. It was. Yeah. Education helps, but, but at some point, you know what I mean? Like the government's like, well, we can't shut that industry down. You know what I'm saying? It but, pays us too much money. But that's the other thing. So then the people that do <laughs> buy it, the people that do buy tobacco now are paying so much fucking tax. Like tobacco tax is, a, is like it's drug money. It's like the rest of the drug money the government gets. Mm -hmm. You know? Da, 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 Can't take that away from them. No. The government lives on drug money. It's well, um, anyway, yeah, this is uh, Happy Earth Market, not the CTSM. This is funny how... Conversation. We're back to have your earth market talk, no, right? I know, but yeah. still so dark. We are. It's so dark. Well, you, you it's got dark in here. Yeah, you're the one that turned off the lights, Dang it. man. Well, it's, yeah, I did. But the guitar is glowy. Well, yeah, guys. That's why I wanted to turn on the lights. We have stuff in here for sale. Everybody should come in. And there's a Easter egg that we're yep. hiding in here. This Last week it was Led Zeppelin. This week it's... So this week it's Fake Bobby. Fake if you Bobby. can find the, um, we'll call it a sculpture... Or we'll call it. There is a very tiny fake Bobby in here, and if you could find it, you win free art. Ooh, Straight yeah. up. Oh, also, let's speak of free and art. <sighs> call out from Happy Earth Market to the community. We really, really, really need some paint, guys. These ceiling tiles are are almost done, and the space is almost out of paint. We only have a couple ugly colors left. So, <laughs> if you guys have some old paint you'd like to donate please come you know bring it with you next time you stop by that way we can have it for the community mm -hmm. um and i can't think of anything else that we might need i mean we take donations yeah. of all kind and if we can't use it we'll distribute it yeah just anything you think would be useful here to use for stuff that we do you know what that is mm -hmm. well guys we're riding an hour Mm. All right. If you count the two thirty-five minutes we did, or thirty-five <laughs> seconds we did before, um, that, that was funny. The show turned out really good, even though we had the two flubs at the beginning. Dennis is awesome to have you back. I'm glad to be All back. Right. Cool. So. And you know what? Thanks to all the sponsors. Mm -hmm. Look at yeah. that. Five That's sponsors so, at the beginning. So, so beautiful. I love you guys so much for the support. It's been amazing. Love um, yous. And the GoFundMe. Holy shit. We've gotten quite a few people. Four hundred dollars. Yeah, and that's beautiful. I love you, family. You're amazing. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And keep that up. So go to that <laughs> GoFundMe. You can find it on the Happy Earth Market Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Yep, or just search Happy Earth Market and GoFundMe. And uh, hey, give us like two, three bucks. Yeah, anything helps, guys. Anything helps. Appreciate it. This community, yeah. we are a community that helps the community. We can't do that for free, unfortunately. Anymore, or, you know, yeah. Yep. Yep. Well, we love you guys. Thanks for listening. Love and light. Go do something right out there. Go be great. Go Hearts. be great. Yep. Help your neighbors. Yeah. And remember, the Wu Tang Clan is nothing to mess with. I thought it was ain't nothing to fuck with. Oh! oh. oh. Who are children Who listening? knew? Oh. I knew that. <laughs> well, you know. Nothing is good. I do I know. know. Right. For I do know a thing about.
rap, you know. Is that gangster rap? <laughs> All right. Yeah. One, two, three. Metal. All right, you guys ready? So, so we're just gonna go around like with your beginning and say. Bless you, bless you. Sorry. So you're gonna say we'll start with Dennis. We'll go Dennis, Jr. Sammy. I'm Dennis. I'm Jr. And then we'll say and then I'll say Nathan. And you like to have this working podcast together. Oh, okay, so we're going to go backwards? We're going to go... Can we sing and we're listening yes, to Happy Earth Market? Yes, okay. Sounds great. And you are listening? Or and it, you it's are. It's Hem Podcast, right? No, you say Happy Earth Market all the way up better. Yeah, so it's going to be Dennis, JR, Sam, me, and then we're all going to sing. Are we all saying Dennis, 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 and you are right. listening to Happy Market Podcast. At the Happy Earth Market. All is for sale. Art is the market. Love is the ground. Are you going to get it? Oh, are we, are we In other words, finish this song. Are we working it? Yet? All right. Oh, that's why you don't do that. Yeah, you're on lead. In five, four, three, two, and at the Happy Earth Market. All All is for sale. sale. I thought we were doing it. All is abundant. Love is the grail. You guys are singing it wrong. Well, how are we singing it? I don't want to do this anymore. All right. We love you guys. Good night. Bye.